shooting or sugar and spice was like such, it was so therapeutic, you know, to kind of take myself away from personal life and um, live in that world. It has pretty much made up for um, this crazy 2020. I saw that it was a Asian casting director, director, was it an Asian writer as well? Yes. It seems like a really inclusive team from the inside out, which sometimes doesn't happen because they'll have their Asian actor and then it's just a team of people who are usually white. Um, yes, yes. How was it working with an Asian writer, director, casting director? Was there any difference? or? Yeah, I mean, I think there were a lot of moments. Um, I felt like, you know, there was no... I, no need to explain anything. I felt like if anything, people were just adding on to, you know, pre-existing ideas. Um, so that was really nice. There was moments where, um, you know, I feel like in a different atmosphere, it could have been just kind of brushed by, but because of the team that we had, um, they really gave us the authentic moment um, without taking away from it or time, or, or miss you know, for any other reason. So, yeah, I, I, that was really, really nice, yeah. With, with Sugar and Spice, was it, what was the casting process like for Lifetime? Was it, did you send in a tape and then a callback or chem read, or, like, what was what was the process to getting cast? Um, yep, so I sent in another audition tape. We did the Zoom callback. Um, it was one of the most extensive callbacks I've ever done, I believe because they kept giving you like last minute um, scenes. I think at the end of it, I had 19 pages during my callback. Yeah, my callback was like an hour and a half long. Was this Zoom um, because of COVID or was it because of Canada? Yeah, it was COVID. Oh, so you guys during shot this year? Yeah, we shot in September. Yeah, it was fast. Mm hmm.